So B says uh, the diagram below OP is 2 QP or Q is 4 Q and uh, PX the ratio of PX to Q, uh, XQ is 1 to 2 okay so we have OP PC and uh, we have CQ here okay okay these are vectors so the question says express in terms of P uh, P and or Q uh, PQ the vector PQ vector PX and vector OX all right okay so what we want here as we are uh, studying this uh, this question first of all is uh, we have to know the direction of the vectors before we begin answering this one I've got OP that means from O you're going to P that is this arrow is 2P so from OQ, from O you're going to Q is 4Q is 4Q. Okay, and then uh, here we've got uh, X. So 4Q and OP. So that is what we want to So express in terms of P and or Q, PX. So PX will be PQ, PQ, which is PQ. So we want to find the from P going to Q there. So now when you're doing vectors, if we were to have um, a direction, let's say from here you come down here, okay, and then from here you go there, like the way we did in um, what we did in Pythagoras or trigonometry. So if you're coming from here to there you gain that direction and then from here you go that, that that direction so the resultant vector will be your connection from this point all the way to that point there okay so that will be this one here okay that will be the connection now so if you come here then you go there this will be the resultant vector now when you're doing vectors you have to know how you can add you can make this figure here okay you can make how can you make this uh, triangle that's how you'll be able to get the answers if this was a and then this was b so meaning this one would be a plus b okay so from here we're giving us uh, p pq and uh, OQ. So they want us to find P. They want us to find PQ. They have given us uh, O O P, which is uh, the two two with the P there and OQ. Okay, so we can find this vector here by okay looking at this one. When you come from here, you go there and then you go there. What should you get? The final will be O plus Q, right? Just like here. From here, you come here, you go there. The resultant will be this one. Even from here, when you come from here, you come there, you come there. The resultant will be from there to there. So we can represent this as uh, O P O P plus P Q. P Q is equals to O Q O Q. Now you ask yourself, what is O P? O P it is two uh, P there that down there, and then you say plus P Q. Now what is P Q? P Q is what we want to find, so we don't know. We just say P Q is equals to OQ. What is OQ? OQ it is this one 4 and there. So you have 4 and Q here. Okay. So now which enables you to find PQ by saying PQ is equals to 4 the Q minus 2P. So PQ is equals to 4 Q there minus 2 P so this is the answer for this one here
px find px so so you want to find px so px will be from there to there now they're telling you that they're telling you that px to xq to xq is 1 over 2 okay so meaning this ratio here if you want to find uh, px you have to uh, convert this ratio okay so they're saying p px to uh, xq is 1 over 1 to 2 so I mean the value of px here is equals to 1 over the total which is 1 plus 2 which is 3 then 3 of uh, what is the total of this pq so the total is this one here 4q minus 2p so we should be multiplied by 4q minus 2p so meaning our px px vector is just this one here okay this is our px vector because the ratio just means uh, this guy compared to this guy one of this guy gives you two of these from x to there so i mean the total is the pq which is this one so one third so one third of pq is equals to this one here this is one third of pq so one third of this one is equals to px so that is our answer our answer for px is one over three four q minus two p all right so let us do ox so let us do ox now ox is going to be uh, we want to find this one here so it's ox and then we have px here so we can find ox by adding op plus px like this remember what i told you here this is very trick uh, here this is when you understand this it will be easy for you to solve vectors just know that when you move from here to there you add there so your job will now to arrange everything in this format so all x will be just all x will be all p plus px now where you know px it is this one here to this one we just add so we say uh, all x is equals to px this one so px which we know is 1 over 3 4 q minus 2 p okay and then you add to this 2 p okay which of course it, it's going to be this is 4 over 3 q minus 2 2 over 3p plus 2p so if we carry out uh, this one here uh, what uh, let me just erase this side if we carry out this expression here we're going to have or x is equal to 4 over 3 q okay, so of minus 2 over 2 over 3 plus 2 so that will be plus 4 over 3 4 over 3 4 over 3 um, p because when you carry out this one here it's going to give you plus 4 over 3p okay so from here you can see that we have 4 over 3 here and here are 4 over 3 hence you can simplify this to 4 over 3 uh, if you want 4 over 3 and then you say q plus p that will be your OX. All right, let's uh, end here today and uh, we'll continue from here. We'll show this equation uh, in the next 
lesson. Question uh, the five marks, so you have to do carefully.